can show up right there. Ready to mute. All right. And it looks like we are live, which is ready Great. to mute. Uh, welcome to the Composer Exchange. This is the score to picture. And today we have three cues that we're reviewing. And we're going to talk about it and share it. And uh, hopefully you're going to enjoy. We, uh, Art did one and Janet did one and I did one. And we're going to dig in right now. This is, we'll start with Janet. I'm going to take a listen. Anything you want to say before before we start to set this up? Nope. Only that I really, really had a good time doing this, and I was uh, I was able to do it in two in about two and a half days, which for me is kind of a speed record. <laughs> so there you go. go right ahead. Wow, I really like the way you connected with the story and the and and the and the mood there, the vibe. Thank but you. I, I like the I, I like how you built up the uh the tension really nice. Um you, you did I mean coming from being a guy that did it differently, <laughs> uh, you know, you didn't have anything in the in the very beginning, it or very, very subtle, and it just kind of built into there. I really love the low strings. Really, that really that really worked nice. You had the right amount of little sound effects and sound design. Um, it was interesting you used you used the drums um in that second part. That was that was yes. interesting. I, I I didn't I wouldn't have I wouldn't have necessarily thought that that would have worked like it did. It really did work um it was a it felt like if if i was going to give it any attention give it some love somewhere it's it's right where he um uh you know transitions to the phone you know between you know where that's you know that there's something different very different that you know there in the vibe you you caught the vibe you know with the phone and it worked before. It's just that maybe in that transition, something, you know, I go with the gut, and the gut, gut says if I was going to give love to that somewhere, that would be where I, where I, where I put it. But really nice, really, I really like the way that felt. Thank what, you. What do you, what do you think, Art? Yeah, I really liked it too. And 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 what I really liked about it is the space that you left, and you didn't feel like you had to like overwrite it. Um, and I really loved the the sound of the um of the low piano there. It was in you know it was very nice uh, to the build up. I do feel that the build up could have been a little more. And I understand you were doing it with the the increasing intensity of the piano and bringing that lick closer together. But I thought maybe some other tension elements could have made it a little more. Um, I don't know, a little more of a 
increase in tension there. Um, mm -hmm. I also was taken a little back by the, the choice of the drums there, but they did work well. And I thought the transition to the, after the drums was very well done. I thought that was fine. And I, and that's where I guess Chris and I maybe disagree on that one, but uh, the overall um, feel and the overall um, environment or universe you created was very appropriate. And uh, yeah, very nice, Janet, very Thank nice. You. Thank you. So um, I wonder, uh, the um, piano part that that sort of speeds up as le leading right. up to the gunshot, did anybody recognize the motif? Uh, it's a de uh, da 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 yeah, da 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 yeah. I, I just happened to want, uh, right right before I started working on this, I just happened to catch this uh, video from Vox when they were talking, they were talking about that motif. Uh, and as I was thinking about what to do musically, because there's not a lot of music in this, right? So right. I thought, oh, that would be perfect. I'll just use the DS Irae. Yeah. You know what this most, first, most famous use of that is? Uh, the most famous use? No. What? what? Uh, it's Symphony Fantastique. That's oh yes, no. yes. Boom, 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 yes. Boom, boom, uh, they they boom. talk about um, they talk about that use in in that box video, um, and they also talk about how it's used in in so many movies and it's been everywhere for hundreds of years and everything. Yeah, so, I don't know. I, you know, is it from the from the medieval times? It is, it is according to the video. They said originally it was a Gregorian chant that was that gotcha. was created for funerals. Yeah, for solid, for like funerals. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought, yeah. And that, you know, composers have been using this little motif for, you know, hundreds of years. So I, I slipped that in there. It's like, perfect, you know, it, you it, actually it, write anything. <laughs> it, 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 I, now that you mentioned it, I realized it, but it wasn't like I said, oh, that's Dicery. It, yeah. It, it just, it sounded very, dark and very uh, brooding, you know, in that low register of the piano it was in octaves. So it was great. Loved it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, the drum thing that was, that was the last section that I, that I composed. And I was, I was actually a little stumped uh, as to what to put in there. I wanted to put something different than what had been going on before. And I, I, I think I had already done the ending at that point. So I, I just wanted to do something different. And so I just tried a couple of drum patterns and I thought that sounded sort of primitive tribal. It did. Of, and and, I, and the fact that it had thing. quite a bit of a reverb on it, I think made it sound even more kind of menacing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that was, that was just, I, that was one of those things where you're like, eh, well, all right, let's stick this in and see if, and see what people think about this. So, um, so yeah, that was, that was, uh, uh, that was just me being, uh, it, doing something in contrast to what had happened before. And after. The contrast is exactly what made it work right. for me. Is that it was, well, I, why would you do drums? It worked. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, you got, you mentioned Gregorian chants and, uh, so one of my professors, when I studied at the University of Minnesota, was Lloyd Alton. And he had just written this book about semi-brevs and nooms for writing out Gregorian chants. So this okay. was like the earliest, the earliest form of notation. Oh, like, yeah. Obviously, oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a heart or that's a love yeah. song. <laughs> Did you ever try to read it and understand no. it? No, oh, tell goodness. me about it. Well, because he wrote that book. We got tortured with it, man. We, <laughs> we I mean, uh, it was it was really fascinating to be able to be exposed to it because I, ne you know, as a jazz musician, punk rock oh, guy, oh. I never would have thought I'm going to go to school and learn semi brevs and nooms. <laughs> one, one question. One question. Why? <laughs> well, it was, it's interesting, but you know, like it is interesting, but why? I mean, you know, unless you're a musicologist, what are you going to use it for? Right. Right. Exactly. So it was it was funny. Anyways, I, I, I still have it. And I, I, you know, I, I, if I ever have to do a, a movie or something where they're going to have the church scene with the Gregorian chants, I at least have a reference point to kind of go back yeah. and create some of that stuff. That's yeah. like uh, that's like Tolkien wanted to write the, the Lord of the Rings in Elvish. 
you know, <laughs> and have like a glossary in the back of the book, you know, so that people could read it, you know, like, you know, and the publisher said, no, 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 no. that's not a good idea. Not doing that. <laughs> well, thank you guys. I, I appreciate your, your uh, kind words on that. I had, as I said, I have, a, I had a lot of fun writing it. Why you ought to think about being a media composer. Really? Yeah, really. You should try that. There's so much money in it. Wow, I never you thought of that. You There's take so my course money. today. <laughs> All right, so I, I guess I'm up next. I got you, Janet. I, I got, got you. you. <laughs> I got you. All right, well, we have- Poor guy. Here. He takes such abuse. <laughs> he deserves it, though, him in his pinstripe suit. Hey, you know, he's doing what he can to make a living in this business. Okay, so I'm going to set this up because what I was really trying to go for here is the emotional side. I was trying to pull out the emotion because I, I couldn't, you know, is this guy his brother? We don't well, know. Frankly, the video was kind of confusing, but but that's yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying is like, is he just kind of a little bit psycho and his brother something? You know, I don't know what. Why is it called Goodbye Brother? I so think I, it is his brother, because even though you can't see him real plainly, he has the same kind of facial, like large facial features. So I have a feeling it, it's supposed to be his brother. My question is, the guy's digging this hole for like 30 minutes or an hour and it's like <laughs> the same size. Well, it yeah, and, and, and it's, and it's and my, husband, my, husband, my husband pointed out that he's he never saw anybody dig a hole barefoot. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, you, you're gonna wear a shoe. Yeah, <laughs> a spade. Yeah, a, there unless were a couple of un, unless unless you don't want to leave shoe prints, <laughs> which, as we all know, yeah. But then you got that's forensic evidence, right? Yes, yeah, but you'll leave blood. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know. I don't, as I said, the video was confusing because in the be, in the beginning there was a guy behind the wheel, right? So who was that guy? Theoretically, that's him. Is he locked in the car? Is he, you know, has he got like some kind of a mental thing going on? How do you lock you yourself? Out to, like, get out of the car. I, if your hands are free, you should be able to get out of the car. I, I don't. That's. I don't think we're supposed to analyze this. No, <laughs> no. I just I put that aside. But I'm, I'm sorry, Chris. Go go ahead. Exactly. There were a lot of holes, but. But what yeah. I got out of it. No, there's it, one. And it's not <laughs> any bigger. It doesn't get any bigger. <laughs> Chicken on it. We're not going to get any. We're not going to get any love from QTube on this one. I think. <laughs> Anyways, it's great. That, by the way, plug out to QTube. We love you guys for putting together um, these videos for us to uh, practice with. We really appreciate that. And thank you for, for all the work, even though we're kind of picking on you. You know, it's well, tough. To you know, if, if you watch the video once, you may not pick up these things. But when yeah. you're writing music to it, and you're out yeah. watching the video. Again and again and again. After 500, I kind of picked up on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what I was going for here is really to, to tie into, you know, that emotional layer. And there's kind of a, there's a few different conflicting emotions. And then kind of overlaying that is that connection with, uh, with, um, I guess his, you know, his heartbeat and the, and the, um, uh, you know, the tension, tension pieces of it. So it's, a, it's an approach, you know, here we sure. go. What heartbeat? We'll find out. He's heartless. Can't you tell what? by those eyes? Yeah. Heartbeat. I didn't get the heartbeat. What were you talking about? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, okay.
go. <clears throat> Art, you want to beat on me first? I'm not going to beat on you. I'm teasing. I really like the theme and 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 what you did at the beginning and the end, but I don't know whether it captured the feel to me. To me, it had a feeling of like, and I know it, when I think about it, I think, oh, okay, it's his brother and he's really sad and really kind of not morose, but a little bit um, hurt by it, which is the way this theme sounds to me. Um, almost like, you know, somebody died in a close member of the family, but you're really sad about it. He doesn't come off that way to me in the video. Um, but I really like the theme. I really liked it. I just felt that it was a little bit not yeah, I, you're right. I, I, I wasn't really trying to connect with his character. I was trying to connect with the the higher level of the of the idea of it. You see what I you, know, you see what I'm saying, and, that, and that's what I that was really the approach. I understand, but you know I see what you're it, saying. If I, it I shows, he shows no it. remorse. It's not not like you know. Oh God, I'm really sad that I had to do that. It's like hey, I'm done. I, I understand, and and. It just, if this was a movie about, about you know, like uh, somebody who lost their wife and is looking out at the ocean and remembering good times, but in a sad way, then that would really hit home to me. Mm -hmm. In this case, I liked the theme. I loved it. it very, very sensitive, very well orchestrated, just the solo piano, beautiful. I just didn't get that kind of feel from it. But you know, that's me. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Um, yeah. So the, yes, the, the, say, assumption, Chris. The, the assumption that I made, you know, from a is is not necessarily to connect with him because it was more of like thinking of a bigger story where this is really tragic and sad that this happened and that this guy's a freaking lunatic and and and, you know, so cold that he would do that. But I, I wasn't really as I was connecting with what I kind of assumed to be the bigger story as opposed to gotcha. you know, as opposed yeah. to him specifically. But right. I see that like in in the context of doing this, uh, it does make a lot of sense to really connect with him more because he's the main he's the main focus of the character at that point. He's the guy doing stuff. But so you're right. But, but you like know, I said, it was neither here nor there. I, I, but I really liked the theme. Um, I, I liked the timbres that you used. I felt that the um, buildup was a little too long and started a little too early to the gunshot. Um, I, I, yeah, because the riser started like 30 seconds before the gunshot. So already the, the tension was starting to build up and it didn't. It, it built to to the gunshot, but I don't know. I don't. I just felt in me that it was a little bit early, and it was sort of like almost, um, almost signaling, or you know, gives it away too soon. The way, yeah, a little too early. I can see that. Um, but you know, I, I really liked it, and it was completely different to Janet's because it was more. It was a lot more music and a lot more going on. I I liked I really liked the 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 bass line, the the scalar bass line that you used. Uh, it it was very effective when you put it in the bass. I didn't feel the same effectiveness when it was in the higher strings. I don't know why, but you used it there too, right, Chris? The what? The the scalar pattern in the bass that you used in um, the middle what i where i you know the layers that i used in that is that i you know i played the i played the piano live right and and it's it's really it's the same thing kind of at the end so the beginning and the end are really pretty much right. the same. exactly yeah and and it and it that part worked in how you know how the section you know the section right section. uh it just was coincidentally the same length <laughs> yeah. uh now the um the the other string piece is repeated it's this again repeated it's that same thing that's in the beginning in the end and that's that's a kind of but a, it's, a but different it's, library than 
the other right. the other baseline base strings that I use to come in. Oh, uh, okay. Cinematic cinematic strings for those because I wanted that rawr, kind of growly low. You know, like, I mean, Janet it, did it with the piano and the string. I love that. Is uh, it is it a similar is it a similar is it a similar line that you're using now? I'm not talking about the 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 or the um. Is it a similar scalar line that you're using in both sections? Uh, I don't remember, honestly. I could listen to it again and tell well, you. But I thought that the one with the bass, the bass and the bass strings was very effective. It, it didn't it hit me as much in the upper strings. I don't know why, but you know, anyway. Yeah, the, yeah. the, second, the second time I did the strings, I. I I, if I was doing this for a gig, I probably would have changed the actual, I might have used the same music, but I would have changed the, the strings. I would have used a different texture in, in, right. in, in the coloring of that. Right. Because th that was the one thing. I mean, I didn't go back and fix it after I realized that, but that was, that was the one thing that, you know, artistically, I certainly would have wanted to try and do. I do agree with you though on the on the on the, on the riser kind of coming through. That was kind of one of the the, the the sections that I was not as comfortable with, you know. In, in that, um, it, well, I, it, you know, I the, think you just said it. It just started too soon. I think that's it, it, what it was. I had the same problem, that, you know, because that that section goes on so long that I felt like I was uh, I it's took like, too yeah, long. To do, I took too long to to get it going, and it was a, sort of the similar kind of idea. And, you know, um, yeah, but I didn't, yeah, anyway, but I really liked it. And it's, you know, it's interesting how it's completely diametric, really kind of opposed from, from Janet's. And I think we all did it a little bit differently, which is very cool. Thank I, you, Chris. I did the music first and then the sound design on top of it. So that was where, which really kind of, the sound design, once you put it in there for that type of a style, was right. like oh that's really it really changed it yeah i think i i really like the sound design you did on it so thank you but janet yes so um i had the same opinion of the piano theme that uh art did i but i think i i i think the problem might be that it was too lyrical so it, there was too much melody in it the um and so, so going along with what you said that this would be, let's see, part part of a larger movie, obviously, and that the you you could imagine that the movie doesn't uh, revolve around this guy, the guy who's digging the hole, his point of view. It kind of, it's a different point of view, but this is just one scene in the movie, right? And so, in the larger movie, this is a very obviously a very tragic situation, a, a, you know, tragic uh, incident. But I think that let's say you had that theme that that you used in the beginning in some other part of the movie that that would establish the the, the tone of the movie. Then when it came to the scene, you could take that theme and sort of um, pare it down to uh, a, a more sort of minimal kind of sound, as opposed to being as lyrical as it as it sounded. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's one of the ch big challenges that I always have is that I, you know, I want it, I, I want it to be music, but it's like, yeah, it's, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, wait a minute, I'm telling the story, get the hell uh, out of yeah. there. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the melody could come in here anyway. <laughs> the other thing um, that I noticed about the the high strings, um, maybe I I think the, the 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 problem sounded to me like the the heart because they they were in harmony right they were not playing octaves or unisons they, there was a chord that that the high strings were playing and it sounded to me like the chord was either too lush and I mean voicing wise or maybe it wasn't spread out the the voicing could have been spread out more so it sounded too well, almost too warm and lush. And I don't think that's what you were going for. I think you were going for something a little more strident and, and unsettling. And so maybe either spreading out the voicing or or just taking out some notes and paring down the 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 chord itself might 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 help in that situation. 
but I but I also did very much like the low strings part. I thought that sounded really good and very ominous at uh, uh, near the end. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, what, what I ended up doing on those strings is I, I, I played them, in, I played it in live. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and again, doing the strings first before the sound design, it worked in a different way. Mm -hmm. When I added the sound design in it, it changed the, it really changed it. You know, it was like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> that, you know, that's a little bit too much pepper. Now, now I need to go back to the noodles and, you know, <laughs> how I want them, to, you know, to, to turn out which I didn't, you know, go back to, but um, what I, anyways, I played that live and, you know, to try and feel where it was going. And by the time it was coming into that tension, you know, I've got 10 notes in there. I mean, I got to like, I got to. Yeah. I, it sounded it, like it was a very thick chord. Yeah. It, it sounded like it was a very thick chord and that, that. It didn't quite have the, the, um, uh, you know, the, the tension to the extent that I wanted. And that's where I started adding stuff on top of it instead of, like you say, maybe taking stuff out. Well, yeah, just, just within the, 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 core, the, the notes that you were playing in the strings. Um, uh, as I said, it just had, it, it gave me sort of a lush feeling, which I don't think is what you were after. That's weird because yeah, it, the sound, I think it's the sound because they were, they were cluster chords all the way, <laughs> but but they didn't pull out. They didn't. They didn't come out. They. They didn't feel that way. Yeah, I, I totally see what you're saying. What'd you say? You. You're muted again. Art, you're muted. You put clusters in strings or harp, and they sound like triads. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I guess. I mean, that's kind of what I was like. Well, I better put something over this to make it. You know, because I'm like I play a lot of. You know, normally you know, in trumpets, man. Whew. Don't <laughs> like make the hair stand up on the back of your head. <laughs> Piccolos and flutes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. E flat clarinet. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Let's move on to to arts. Yeah, let's hear arts. There we go. Anything you want to set up? Uh, no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> cool man um what uh so the, the the beginning uh part you know i felt like i was going into a harry potter scene um uh, which is and 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 then that next little section it it, it i don't want to say it sounded a little bit cliche which isn't a bad thing but it, but it, I, it pulled out clicheism uh, to me, um, uh, and, and musically there were like, 
it was great. It was like to the to the to the point in every every sense, and and all all the music musicality parts of it all worked. They didn't get in the way in anything. What what stood out to me is it didn't necessarily feel like flutes um, conveyed the, the 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 best emotion. I would have wanted something that 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 was a little more abrasive to me for 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 the for the for the approach that you that you that you did it it it's not that it didn't work is that it, it it just as thinking about if i was watching it it was it, you know, as just a somebody watching the movie I, I wouldn't have noticed it but i think you know i'm thinking as a composer orchestrator and and i want i would have wanted to hear something that just kind of you know made me scratch the back of my neck a little bit um all the sound design things were really nice. I do like one of your one of your one of the key things, and probably why you why you noticed it in in, in my cue is that your buildup was fantastic for the gun, because it, it was like it, it got big enough at at that point where really it really it really had impact. Um, and I like the I like the way you you know what you did musically to to, to build that up. Uh, overall, it's, it's a great piece. Um, I just didn't, I didn't think that the, the Harry Potter vibe was necessarily the right, uh, mental space for, for, for the, for the era of what that, of, of where that piece is. If there was a castle in the background or there was something more fantasy, but I didn't see it, 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 it pulled me into a, a fantasy mindset that like a Harry Potter would do versus, you know the the, but at the same time, th that that is also typical in in you know horror kinds of kinds of kind of kind of films. It's just it, that's kind of a fine line between the fantasy and the and and the horror uh, in there. And I would have led a little more to the horror and 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 had less of a less of bringing me into thinking about. Uh, something that was that that had a little bit more of a fantasy with it. Do you think that was um, the the instrumentation choices or the music or the or the harmonic structure or what? I would I I think it's probably your your orchestration, your instrument choices. You yeah. know, I, maybe not the harp. You know, the harp has that too. It's the, the, again. So the harp is light and the flutes are light. And they they bring you into a into a different Harry Potter kind of a thing, which you're really good at. That's a style that you really do well. Um, so you know, and that's okay. It's your it's a style and it works. It's just yeah, it it just it brought me to a different place of what I think of. So cool, pretty cool. I uh, I really didn't think of that at all. But if that's the way you perceived it, then that that's it. Um, because I, I really didn't even think of that, to be honest with you. I just thought, you know, it was kind of a creepy kind of feel to it. But you, you did, you did pull out all the right out, all those right elements. It's just, it, you know, just something to think about, you know, because it, yeah. it, it's a well, really fine line before Janet, why don't you. Yeah, um, I, I didn't think of the whole fantasy. Well. I guess I did. Um, the the thing that that s sort of jarred me a little bit was uh, I thought there was a very, I thought there was a very uh, um, noticeable kind of break between the beginning with the the, the scene of just the trees, right. and then the scene of the car. Um, there wasn't anything that that connected those two parts, so it it almost seemed like well that was one cue and now. Uh, and now it's time for the next cue. And I guess you could do that. I don't know, but um, um, so that that was that was one thing that that kind of jumped out at me. But I thought it was extremely well done. I thought at, what, during the uh, the build up to the gunshot, I had visions of Bernard Herman running through my head. So uh, so I think you did that really well. I like your little sort of uh, you had like a counterpoint going on with that dissonant motif that you had sort of weaving in and out of the instruments which i thought was good um 
that it was it was it was very good. It's interesting. So your approach was sort of in the middle between mine and 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 Chris's. Yeah. And uh, and it, it was it was very interesting. Um. And this was just my approach, and and I I made I made a very clear distinction between the you know the the the, the beginning of the queue, the middle of the queue, and and the end of the queue where he's on the phone, and yours yours just sort of ran into the ending, and it wasn't it did, you didn't have that clear okay now he's done and he's sending a text to somebody, um, so. Because that that's a uh, I I thought of that as a as a key point in the in the little plot of of this of this uh, uh, video was that it was like oh he's texting somebody who's that where where's that going you know where did that come from but but anyway, um, again it was just a, a subjective choice and uh, but overall I thought I I thought it was I thought it was very well done. You're right. He does have bare feet. I never noticed that. <laughs> yeah, he's digging the hole with his bare feet. That must have hurt that poor actor. Boy, I hope he got paid a lot. See, the thing is, you're looking at when you look at this guy right here, he looks like he's part of a cult of some kind. Yeah. And then and then at the end, when he's sending the Maybe. text, he's not. Well, that's not him, is it? Yeah, that is. I, I thought it was the same guy. I don't sending, think so. The guy sending the text. Maybe. Maybe not though, because he has a different coat on. He has a different jacket on. Kind of build. Look at him. Right. He's stockier. See, well, this this video was oh. very confusing. See, he's much no. stockier. No, he's done. He's just wearing a coat. But, yeah, yeah, but look, he's got not. a he's got a different coat on. Maybe it's the coat that makes him look bigger. Yeah, this is the same guy. I uh, thought it was the same guy. I mean, okay. you, whoops! When you look, right, I thought it was his cohort, his lackey. He was just standing there watching, you know, supervising. Yeah, anyway. if, if you look at his eyes, it's, it's he's got this large. You know what? It's probably eyes. the same guy in the car too. I, yeah, I. <laughs> so the budget, budget fill. Right, right, right. The, the, <laughs> and well, today's uh, you know, he is. I, anyway, I, I, I just, I, I thought it was, a, I thought it was great, and it was an interesting sort of. Uh, it had a little bit of Christopher and it had a little bit of mine in there, and and uh, it was it was interesting in that way. Right. The, the, you the, know, I thought I thought that the that I mean it wasn't a it wasn't a flute in the conventional sense. It was an alto flute. It was alto flute and English horn. So I thought that was dark enough colors that it would not bring like you know. And then we're in the low register, you know. So I thought maybe that would be a you know. I thought it worked, but. Evidently, it was say, no, no, no. It worked. It's just it was just a, a my own subjective, you know, thing with it. Right. It's not right. that it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. but I, I, I think your point, uh, Chris, is is interesting, and that is that you know listeners sometimes get immediate associations with your instrument choices. I, I, I worked on a cue with with a co writer, and I put one little motif in in a celesta and then i played it for some people and they're like oh that sounds like a christmas but it's it's like in a minor key the whole thing is in g minor but because i put some little bit of melody in the celesta everybody thinks it's a christmas tune so you know it, it, yeah it comes to their mind and yeah yeah you don't necessarily think, so you know what's really interesting you know i'm thinking about us looking at these cues we each have a bias based on how we approached it and what we thought about when we went through that and watched it 500 times or whatever. <laughs> what's really interesting is, you know, like when we, um, when we have somebody that maybe hasn't taken the, you know, hasn't gone through that process and just looks from the outside, it, you know, it's a, it's a little different. You know, one of the one of the other things I was curious of here, now that we've kind of gone through this all, and we're going to wrap in a second, but did we get, uh, did this cue have uh, a spotting session notes with it? I don't believe so. Well, I'm, I, I think in order to get the spotting session notes, you need to be at a higher level than we are. I, 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 I can look at that. It would be really interesting. Um, and I'm going to go see if I can find it. And if you find it, let me know. But it would be really interesting to see what the actual spotting notes are for this. Hmm. Yes. So that we were like, okay, well, where were, where were, what should we have been thinking about that we didn't? Because we just kind of went, 
okay, this is what we feel from it. And, and that's that intuition that we're trying to get better at. But again, what we try to do as composers for a film is connect with the director's vision and be able to get inside their head for what are you doing. are you at the lowest level of the patreon on that that means i can't get in or you can't get into the spotting notes if you're at the lowest level i'm at the lowest level too well i might, I might bump that up just to get that because i think that that would be an interesting part of our learning experience and if i do that i'll put those in our in our uh our, our either pie box or um uh, over on yeah, I, I I think that would be an interesting exercise to see to compare. Cool. Because I did I I did put just a I think just a couple of hit points um in in my uh score. So oh uh, by the way, uh, Janet, I did yeah. have a transition to that section, but obviously it wasn't that clear enough. It was the water phone. <laughs> the, the water my water phone. Okay. Well, you also had a, a scratch, like a scratching sound going on. Yeah, that, was the, that was the cricket, you know, the crick, you know, that, oh, okay. Okay. that okay. percussion instrument. But the, 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 the water phone is something I really wanted to use and <laughs> I got to use it. Okay. okay. Gordo. 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 Listen again. All right. Gordo. What's that? Gordo. Is that what they're called? The Gordo. cricket things? Yeah. yeah. Gordo, huh? A Gordo. I okay. use I just used it in my uh, my Brazilian queue that I just did. Right. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. We'll stay stick around and chat. Thank you all okay. for taking the time to watch this. Thank you guys for uh, for coming up with some some cues uh, to 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 play with. Hopefully, we'll get some more folks to to come in, and we'll uh, we'll announce in our Slack where uh, over at Composer Exchange. And if you want to be part of this community, you know, find me, and I'll I'll, I'll get you the keys. Um, Anyways, uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do next, but this has been fun. Thank you, QTube, again, for, for creating these uh, short little videos for us to explore and do cool stuff with. Uh, we'll see you around next time. All right. Now, yeah. You know, and we, 